All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am on O Street right now. I'm trying to test my little my little setup I have, which is a Zoom Q8 camera. This camera can record multiple channel audio. So I would like to be able to provide you with some better quality sound. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use a little lapel lapel mic in my helmet while at the same time uh, recording the audio like the surrounding audio so the video quality is gonna be you know it is what it is that's more likely like people say you know this is a camera that is mostly just a really audio recorder with the functionality of a camera but it's still pretty freaking good so I'm gonna use my key to tuck the, the wire for the mic in there we go, I should be on, shouldn't be too much of a gain. Let me hide it in my pocket without really being that concerned about, you know, the proper way of tucking it. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do a little up down, going up and down the O Street. And we will see how this whole setting actually behaves. I'm actually really looking forward to it it's I'm very excited we'll see I hope the camera that I just spent a lot of money on won't just fall off anyway that's like the first absolutely first attempt of, of trying this setting out anyway hey guys what up uh, they didn't care anyway so we're riding with the sidecar right now this is pretty fucking cool a lot of people love it uh, possibilities are endless now the most important thing that I would like everyone to know about is that I'm going to race on a straight line. I'm going to be present on the Big Blue Mile shootout. It's around uh, Cordova, Nebraska and Utica. Oh, we're stopping because it's the orange light. Now, what's, what's important to know about it, they, this year they allowed only 20 motorcycles in. Yeah, I should probably do a UE. That would be, that'd be more interesting. I'm not really that big of a fan of going straight, but <laughs> here's the cool stuff. I own a 1980 freaking, what is this, 84 Honda Magna. It's a V65, 1100cc. It used to be the world's fastest production motorcycle of 1983. Well, let's see, right? So when I heard about this event, I decided, you know what? I'm doing it. You know, the main thing about uh, bringing the Magna over there is to pay a tribute to the legacy these bikes you know they're, they're pretty rare these days people don't really ride them because uh, they're famous for engine damage due to uh, poor lubrication of the camshafts mine actually when I opened it up it looked perfectly nice beautiful you can either be paranoid or you can you know do the best job and get things to work we don't, do, don't want to do anything stupid it's vacation time it's holiday it's uh, yeah it's vacation it's summer vacation ah all right, anyway, should I go high market? I can go high market. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be nice. Again, I'm riding with the rig. I don't have blinkers here. I should install blinkers on this bike. It's a little annoying to constantly have to do the hand signals. Oh, it's so empty today. That's beautiful. It's so nice. There are there's some ladies here. Anyway, Ooh, what's going on there? Photo shoot. You're doing a photo shoot? Okay. Nice lighting, man. I love it. Anyway, these guys are doing some video shooting here. I guess they're not the only one. <laughs> they said the uh, sidecar's sick. I think so, too. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just stop in the middle of the road and... Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rail yard. <laughs> Thank you. All right, move on. <laughs> oh, can I fit through here? Oh, yes, I can. Yep, there you go. Pinnacle Bank Arena, everybody. Thank you. Let's move on. I wonder if this form factor actually has any future. Everything, you know, like present, I present you. This is it. So I would have to do a lot of U-turns and shit, but I mean, I'm good at U-turns. I used to do Gymkhana all the time. Empty street, beautiful. Just look at that. Greens and reds and blues. Yay, beautiful. Guys, seriously, if you have a chance, get a motorcycle, do it. <laughs> Don't listen to what your mom says. Don't listen to what your dad says. Get a motorcycle. Because this is this opens up so much. So many possibilities. 
but everybody has their own motorcyclism. Anyway, I think the cabling and everything does pretty well. Oh, Uber, oh. Nice, with the bumper. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's what that's what that's what the sidecar does to you. Ah, sorry, adds practicality to a motorcycle. We have another person here, right next to us. Oh, she's smoking a cig. I may maybe she had a rough day. I don't want to talk to her. I'm rocking my engineering shirt, the bike I ride, and the sidecar I, I rock. It has nothing to do with engineering. <laughs> yeah, there was no plans, no sketches, no drawings. Oh, I bolt. Ah. Yeah, I need to rigid, rigidify, rigidify, rigid, rigidify, I don't know, make it more rigid. Anyway, now we're gonna be heading home. This is it for today, I think.